If this is the brain from the side, we have the eyes here. Um, let's think about most companies who hire consultants like us do it because they want high performance. They have the idea we want the best people in place, we want to make sure they really deliver high performance and they can get their teams to deliver high performance. When we look at high performance in the brain, there's one part that's really important and it's called the prefrontal cortex, PFC. And that's the part of the brain that makes us different from animals. Um, it's the part of the brain that has come very late in evolution and it's a part of the brain we need um, for rational processing, higher level processing. What do you do with that part of the brain? That's the part of the brain when you make a decision, when you think about different options, when you create an Excel model, when you look at this P&L, that's um, where all the intelligence goes to. In the end, you're sitting here because you have a very well-functioning PFC, otherwise you wouldn't have made a partner. It's, it's obvious that's what you need. And that's what companies are looking for, people who can really perform um, well and have um, well-functioning brains. This is also the part of the brain that matures only at age 18 or 21. So people who have teenagers will understand that um, this part maybe is not functioning properly yet. And it's the part of the brain that's also responsible for inhibition and delay of gratification. And if you think about it, teenagers will do lots of stupid things. They don't know better. It's their prefrontal cortex that's not fully matured yet. Um, and the interesting, maybe one last information about this, there was an experiment in the 60s where they gave children the option of having one marshmallow now or two five minutes from now. It's a very simple task. You can do it with your own child or children if they have the right age, or even at the different age and see what they do. And the children who go for the marshmallow right now are not as successful later in age when they're adults in life as the ones who can delay gratification and wait. The prefrontal cortex already grows in small children and some have a more powerful prefrontal cortex. It's something you can also influence by education, by not giving them everything all the time directly, by le learn, letting them learn to work for things. Lots of this is genetics, but there's always things you can influence. Otherwise, this session wouldn't make sense. I would say, your brain is as it is, go home, do with it what you want. You can, education does make a difference in how your prefrontal cortex develops. And um, very important for success later in life, more important than intelligence, is something that's called executive control. That's the ability to delay gratification, to plan ahead, and to not always get all things at once, but to wait for it. I think you get a clear idea of what our prefrontal cortex is capable of. Here comes the thing. That's what companies want. They want you to have a well-functioning prefrontal cortex that will assure you make great decisions and are performing well. But the prefrontal cortex is always overruled by another part of the brain, and that's called the limbic system. That's the part of our brain where emotions are processed. It's a part of the brain that's way older from an evolutionary perspective than the prefrontal cortex. And um, you could say if these two are in a fight, the limbic system will always win. But before we talk about that connection, I'd like to show you two basic principles of brain function. I think if you only take this away from that session, for me that would be enough because you will see it everywhere in, in daily life. It's something, it might seem simple at first, but once you really realize what it means, you will see it everywhere in action. <laughs> 